everyone well welcome back and let's get right into the video on to our first fact gibbons color of fur depends on the species gibbons have multiple types like the simon the lark gibbon and much more the fur color can be light brown dark brown or black as you may have saw on the thumbnail the title page the gibbon that you saw had light brown fur look on the right of your screen and you will see light brown fur gibbons <laughs> and black fur gibbons right on the bottom left side. Simon have black fur while Lar gibbon has light brown fur and sometimes brown fur. Lar gibbon is actually the gibbon you saw in the thumbnail and the title page. Many more species have the fur color but I just gave two examples. Okay, so, gibbons usually avoid the water because they can't swim. So, gibbons have very long arms and they're flexible shoulders and strong legs, which make some movement in the treetops easier. I think this is very important because like, gibbons are arboreal and need to stay away from predators that can climb trees like leopards. But sometimes they just think it's interesting and fun, and honestly, I do too. So, gibbons a bipedal, which means they walk with only their legs. Okay, so gibbons brachiate, or they swing from tree limb to tree limb with only their arms. Wow, gibbons have very long arms, so they can do that. They clearly love trees because they think it's for entertainment and so much more. Many primates brachiate, like spider monkeys and new world monkeys. Most monkeys do, though. So, Gibbon's arms are used for balancing. Okay, I think this fact is very interesting, but Gibbons don't build nests, but that's not surprising. That's not the surprising part. Interesting part is that they actually sleep on forked branches in trees. Not all animals do that, and definitely not all primates do that. They sleep alone, even though they mate for life, but sometimes they will sleep with a group of Gibbons. They sleep sitting upright, actually, which is interesting to me. Okay, so the fun fact is gibbons have opposable thumbs, meaning they're movable. And I think koalas have opposable thumbs too. Okay, so this fact may be hard to believe, even though orangutans are highly intelligent too. But gibbons can recognize themselves in a mirror and they can com communicate various songs. So they are, are very smart, very smart animals. Songs last about 10 to 30 minutes, and both males and females can literally recite them. Many primates are smart, and many animals sure are too, but the gibbon is above average of those primates that are not humans. So, the fun fact for this is there are approximately 20 different, different types of species of gibbons because they have multiple. Okay, so we're up to the last part. So, this is basically the conclusion and threats and their population. Explore why gibbons need help desperately. So, gibbons are the world's most threatened primate. We have been extra unaware of the things around us like trees and food. We did not realize how many things Mother Nature provides for us. But we were given another chance and we cannot blow it like last time. <laughs> gibbons are threatened by habitat loss, poaching, and illegal trade. Habitat loss is when humans clear animals' homes for land and resources. Gibbons are threatened specifically by deforestation, a type of habitat loss, when humans cut down trees. Gibbons need trees to survive. Poaching is when animals die because of humans illegally hunting them and then succeeding. Gibbons are needed for food, like their meat, fur, and sometimes hunters just do it for fun, which I don't think is entertainment at all. 
Illegal trade is when animals are illegally like traded, literally what you think it is. This may cause gibbons to lose their homes too. You can help save gibbons by teaching others about them. Donate money to different companies that helps gibbons and don't waste resources like food, wood, and paper. Also, by sharing this video with your friends and family, they will learn about gibbons and you will be helping a lot for the gibbons. Check out the fur on your clothes are artificial and not natural because we don't want to have fur that's natural, right? Together we can save them for sure and I believe that. So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next week. By the way, these facts might seem very little but actually there was 30 facts. But most of them just <laughs> went into the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the simple facts. So that's probably why it seems so less. So I will see you guys. Bye.